what skill sets do we need? Oh, here's a good one. What skill sets do we need in our teams to have successful transition to ABC? Constraints or others? Uh -huh. Oh, cool. Good question. Could be easier ask, uh, answered by a consulting partner. I would, I would paint my view. Okay. Um, if you want to go for a good variant configuration project, you need people which understand the business process, right? Mm -hmm. So this, this guy should not be IT. It should be someone from business. He yeah. should, he needs to talk to the sales guy. He needs to talk to the marketing guy. He needs to talk to the controlling guy, to the guy in, in production, who the yep. guy manufacturing who, who's the shop floor, <laughs> the bomb who's developing and writing the routing. Quality. And uh, he needs to understand the customer viewpoint. Is he able to buy configured products or does he still stick with numbers and then you end up with material variants, whatever. So as I'm saying at the beginning, you're touching several departments and this guy needs to be able to talk to these. It does not need to be one, could be two. It should be more than right. one bite because you're depending on this guy really heavily. And, um, and then you need, of course, somebody who has... Um, how do we call that? I think it was uh, analytical thinking. So you're not coding, you're not ABAP writing, but writing rules is a kind of thinking. In, it is analytically. In strongly thinking. analytical way. But uh, it could be two, right? The one is taking more uh, uh, focus on how to model. Bread is only available if the size is bigger than this and, and mm -hmm. uh, this customer gets 10%. If you order this in this specific way, is a different viewpoint than what happens after I create a sales order? What happens yes. after the planned order is there? Where do we source these parts? Do we source or buy, uh, source or build? Uh, how do we ship this? How, et cetera, et cetera. This is all the, about the business process. So you, you need people which are really opening their mind or have an open mindset. Yeah. I don't go only for financials, right? So this skills it needs to be there. And then uh, please, talk to others. I would not say need to go to a course and I said at the beginning, reading a book is not enough. You don't do it by your own alone because there are thousands of knowledgeable people outside. They can help you with hints and tricks and, and shortcuts and yeah, uh, you it will save a lot of time and don't run into the same issues maybe which somebody 20 years ago did. Right? Yeah. So I think internally you need someone who understands the business. Yeah. You're and and also I think someone who's capable of like asking a lot of questions, uh -huh. like other applications that might not even be, you know, bringing in information that you know they might be using some offshoot application to do something, who knows where in some lab or something. Uh -huh. uh, um, so I think it, it needs to be someone who understands like ask questions come from what's the next and, and also, i think and now you. Not, not only how you do it also why you're doing how you do it. oh yeah right? i remember a nice workshop i had i think 10 years ago in canada <laughs> there was a mid-sized company saying hey if if the mother of the, the, the of the, the company said if you convince them to do sap we will do it mm -hmm. and it was an 80 people company and uh, we went there and we spent a half day talking to every department saying what are you doing yeah. How are you? Where did you go? Where, where's the information coming from? And where does it, where do you prolong your, your information? What happens next? And often you said, I don't know. I just do what I do. And then I give it to my colleague and he's doing something else. Right. Right. And so we went through the whole from, it was a manufacturing company. And at the end, we presented every, every afternoon, this person, how it would look like if you have an integrated ERP system. Right? Mm -hmm. And then at the end, in front of all saying, listen, you did that, 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 that. Now you do less here, a little bit more here, but in total half the time you're doing right now, right? Mm -hmm. This is, you need really, it's not like you just, you have one domain, you need to dig into that, right? You right. need to have a wide business view and also the, how to say the courage saying, why are we doing this? And yeah. could, couldn't it be easier this way or that way, or there are possibilities. Oh, yeah. And there are, and there are standards. Not every company is, different also yeah. something i think we could talk industry about industry standards industry same standards, with configuration yes. you don't need to do it completely different right the car is a car and i think home. that's funny when people are like i am so special i yeah. did all this configuration yeah. and all about code 
And then you're like, dude, your industry standard. <laughs> and you can do invariant configuration a lot of stuff. You, this is a set, it opens the world, the gate, and then you, with characteristics yeah. and values and classes, you can describe what you want. You can make rules, super yeah. complex, huge models. You can make, you make it keep it clear and clean and just say what is needed to make money out of my product, right? When I'm really? selling it, producing it.